All right, hey guys, welcome back to the cozy cabin. Um, just want to do a quick video on um, checking the water level in the well. Um, <clears throat> so what I have here is this little homemade device um, that I made. Um, and you can buy these actually. Um, at, I guess you can get them online, but uh, these things are about 600 bucks um, if you want to buy a professional one. Uh, I don't have that kind of money, so I just made one myself. Um, I bought a surveyor's tape, uh, which is I think 200 feet. Um, our well is 180 feet deep. Um, so this is more than enough um, and then I just had some um, networking cable laying around so I just used that to uh, you know to kind of make the, the connection um, so it's a really simple device all it really does is um, you have two uh, two rods here uh, that are connected to different uh, wires um, and all it really does is once this these two rods here once here once here once these guys hit the water um, it just closes the uh, the circuit and sends electricity back to this thing here and uh, What this is is it's just like a little uh, speaker um, So it just beeps once you hit uh, once you hit water um, So yeah, so for those guys that have a well and you're curious um, What the well or water level is in your well um, You can hire a professional or and pay them uh, a crazy amount of money or you can do it yourself um, which is what I opted out to do um, so yeah without further ado I'm gonna send this bad boy down and uh, we'll see what the water level is um, you know if you're curious why I'm doing this is uh, it's been like super crazy dry so I just want to make sure that uh, we're well prepared and know what the uh, what the water level is at um, in case I need to bring up water with uh, with myself uh, or with me next time I come up. Um, so I know usually at the best of times the the water level sits at around uh, 60 feet down. So I'm not gonna bother hooking up the battery until we at least get down to that level. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see how much further I need to go down. Actually, the, the well pump just kicked in, so I'm curious to actually see what, uh, what we're at. So we're down to 35. Forty-five. <clears throat> do, 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 do. 55 Okay, so we're at about 60 feet, so I'm gonna hook up the battery the only downfall of my uh, doohickey here is This wire kind of gets twisty on me. I know I have to figure out a better way of uh, setting this up But You know for how many times I actually do this every year this is uh, this has been working out quite well. Well, and the whole the whole thing cost me probably about eighty bucks to make, so pretty pretty cheap. So we're down to about seventy feet now. Seventy two, seventy four. Boy. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you heard the beep, <clears throat> but we're, we're probably at about 75 feet. I don't know why after the first beep the speaker kind of goes crazy and just kind of hisses, but... Let me pull this guy out and unhook the battery. So 
sure there's better speakers, I just found one on Amazon. Um, yeah. Still wearing the stupid mesh because uh, I was out earlier cutting the grass and the deer flies were just driving bonkers. So I put it on, but it seems like they've moved on. So now it's just hissing. But unless it's refilling itself. I said the pump was going. Just this is a, you probably can't even hear it, but it's pretty, pretty faint. Um, but yeah, so if anyone's interested in making one yourself, it's a pretty simple thing to do. Let's see if I can make it beep again. Hisses. But yeah, 75 feet is pretty good. And uh, I'm not uh, not too concerned about it at, at this point. Um, but I mean, obviously, the, the concern is it's been so dry uh, this summer, um, unusually dry. We only had like maybe a day or two of rain in the past um, probably in the past five weeks which is uh, you know crazy um, one thing I want to mention is if you do do this and you're you opt out to check the water level yourself um, just be careful pulling this thing up um, because Obviously, there is the, um, the 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 pipe that comes out of the well pump, um, which if you're pulling too fast on um, that, this is a lot easier if you have an extra set of hands. Um, if you go too fast, what can happen is. Uh, the cable can actually get snagged on um, the, the, the pipe coming out of the well pump um, and it's gonna get tangled which uh, then obviously becomes uh, <laughs> it becomes problematic so um, just take it easy and go slow when you're pulling this up um, but yeah great little device um, gives you the extra information you need about the water level in your in your well and like I said for about $80 Canadian um, oh shoot this thing got tangled up in here on me um, for $80 Canadian it's um, it's money well well spent um, there's probably better ways of, of doing it. Um, when I actually built this thing, I was in a bit of a rush. Um, so I just used like some Gorilla Tape to kind of hold the, the wire and, and the surveyor's tape together. Um, so there's probably, probably better ways of doing it, but in a pinch, that's what I had on hand and that is what I used um, so it's 
it's uh it's come in handy let me tell you so anyways that's about uh, it for this video so you can see we have beautiful weather um, sun is shining blue skies and deer flies uh, that's still still valid uh, just up here for a, a quick visit um, had to cut some grass and clean up a little bit um, as you can see most of the grass is dead anyway so but you know in uh, in certain spots it was um, it was definitely definitely needed a cut so anyways uh, thanks for watching uh, hope you found this video useful um, if you have any questions or, or comments uh, about my little device here uh, by all means uh, leave a message uh, or a comment and uh, I'm happy to provide more information um, or answer any questions um, so yeah subscribe like all that good jazz and I will see you guys again soon at uh, the cozy cabin take care